guide in this video. This is going to be the mixed review part 12. This problem is similar to number 25 found in the mathematics sections quiz in the ATIT study manual. Number 25, Santa's workshop just finished making a bicycle for Jackson since he was a good boy nearly all year. The elves are putting the bicycle in a rectangular box that is 18 inches wide, 4.25 feet long, and 3 feet 9 inches tall. There is absolutely no waste of wrapping paper in the North Pole. How many square feet of wrapping paper should the elves use to wrap the box entirely? Since there is no waste, leave your answer in exact decimal form. So some things to note here. Uh, we have a length, a width, and a height for this box, and we're going to wrap this box completely. This is called surface area. You want to cover all six surfaces of this rectangular box. And this is the rectangular box down here. There are six surfaces because you have a front and a back, a top and a bottom, and then a left side and a right side. Now, when you're dealing with a rectangular box, it doesn't honestly matter where you put these numbers. But just to follow along with this, we know the box is three feet, nine inches tall. So that's going to be the height of the box all the way around, three feet, nine inches. The length of the box is 4.25 feet. And then our width is 18 inches. Now we have to read this problem carefully. As you can see, we have all sorts of measurements going on. One that's just in feet, one that's in feet and inches, and then one that's just inches. And then the question says, how many square feet? So we need to convert all of these things. There's more than one way to do this, but the best way is to convert all of these to feet because they're going to turn out relatively nice when we convert these to feet. For example, three feet, nine inches is three and nine twelfths feet because three feet, there's our whole number, three in our mixed number, nine, well, nine out of 12. Let's go ahead and convert this to a decimal. If you type in nine divided by 12, that's gonna give you 0.75. So therefore, three and nine twelfths is 3.75 feet. That's how tall this box is gonna be. Again, just grab your calculator, nine divided by 12, that's going to be 0.75, then I carried my 3 on over, so 3.75 feet. This one right here is good because it's strictly given to us in feet. And 18 inches, well, you can do something very similar here. 18 inches, we can say 18 over 12. 18 divided by 12 is actually going to give you 1.5, so it's a foot and a half. And if you think about that, 18 inches, well, 12 of those inches is going to give you a whole foot. And then you have six more inches, which is half a foot, so 1.5 feet. Now we have everything in terms of feet. Now, we're not going to take length times width times height. That's volume. We're not trying to fill this box up with stuff. We're putting a bike inside of it. We want to wrap this box. So we want to find the area of all of these sides. And recall earlier, I did mention we have six sides. We have a front and back top and bottom, and a left and right side. Now I'm putting front and back together. I want you to think about, you know, this piece right here. Think about this as our front. And then this piece back here in the back, this back rectangle that you see here, those have the same area. Now the way you find the area of any rectangle is to do length times width or base times height or whatever you want to call it. So if we look at this uh, one front piece right here, 18 inches, well, we said that was 1.5, and then we got to multiply it by this measurement here, which is going to be the same thing as this back height because the height of the box all the way around, that piece, that piece, that piece, and that piece, they are all 3.75 feet. So again, looking at this front rectangle, we take this measurement here, which is 1.5, we multiply by this measurement here, which is the same as this 3.75 but that's just the area of the front. Since we have front and back, we can actually double that. So 1.5 times 3.75, that's the area of just the front. Well, we can double this, and then we have the front and the back technically added together. Let's repeat this for the top and bottom. So our top piece is this part right here. Let's get our measurements for that. This one across here is going to be the same thing as what we have here, which is the 1.5. Multiply 
Let's multiply by this measurement right here. Well, that's gonna be the same as this 4.25. That 4.25 is right there and it goes all the way around. So 1.5 times 4.25, but that's just the area of the top piece. Remember, this bottom here, since it's a rectangular box, that's gonna have the same area as well. So we can double that area right there. Now, finally, let's get the left and the right. So I'm gonna look at the right-hand side since that's the one I'm seeing right here. Hopefully you can see that in orange. We're looking at this right side, but the left side over here is going to be the exact same area since it's a rectangular box. Opposite sides of a rectangular box will have the same area. Let's get our dimensions, 4.25 times that was that piece. Now we got to go this piece here because we're really taking length times width. We're finding the area of a rectangle. Well, this piece here is 3.75. But since that is just the right-hand side, we want to double that area since we have the same area over here. So let's multiply that by two as well. And then what we're going to do, this is the area of the front and back. This is the area of the top and bottom. This is the area of the left and right sides. We're finding the surface area. We are covering all of these surfaces, all six pieces. That's where the times twos come into play. If we add up all these areas, we will have our entire surface area for the wrapping paper. So grabbing our calculator, 1.5 times 3.75 times two. This measurement, this area for the front and back will be 11.25. And remember, we're talking about area. Area is measured in square feet. So 11.25 square feet. Now, you don't really need to know this for the T's test, but really we're taking 1.5 feet times 3.75 feet. Feet times feet is how we get the feet squared right there for our area. Then we're just doubling it because we had the front and the back to deal with. Let's repeat this for the top and the bottom. 12.75 square feet for the top and bottom. And then last but not least, the left and right. 31.875 square feet for the left and right. So let's take these areas, front and back, top and bottom, left and right. Let's add up all of these to get the answer to our question. That's gonna be how many square feet of wrapping paper the elves should use to wrap the box entirely. And we're gonna leave this answer in exact decimal form. Notice we do have a long decimal here, but it's not a, a ugly decimal that carries on forever. So adding up these three areas, our total surface area will be 55.875 square feet. And to get you to imagine this, a square foot is a square. Take a piece of paper, a big piece of paper, and cut a 12 inch by 12 inch square. That's a square foot that you would have right there in front of you. It would take almost 56 of those to cover this entire box. The front and the back, the top and the bottom, the left and the right hand sides. Now I know when we wrap presents, we, got, we fold little triangles and all that stuff. But again, the elves don't waste any wrapping paper. So they're going to use the exact amount, 55.875. And you know they use their magical powers. They can make it look beautiful, I'm sure. But the point is here, we want to make sure we know how to find surface area of a box. I have a feeling you will run across a problem like this on the T's test. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Uh, a problem similar to number 25 in the ATIT study manual. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.